forgive them. I'll hear you from heaven. Again, another hear you from heaven scenario. So when you're going through something, don't just sit there and be depressed and poor me, have a pity party. No, get up and say, Lord, I am sorry that I did what I did. Please forgive me. Or, or Lord, this person did that to me. Or, Lord, she said this to me. And don't get me wrong. When people say something to you, it's going to hurt. It's not like the old saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Old crunch. Words hurt. Words cut just as deep as a knife. Think about it. If I break a leg, say I break your leg, right? The first thing that's going to happen is, is you're going to hurt. Okay, next couple of days, that leg's going to still hurt. But it's going to be healing up. Next couple of days after that, it might hurt some more, but still healing. About three weeks from now, that leg should be healed. And what? It don't hurt. Yes, you remember it, but that leg does not hurt. So, if I called you a name, I said you're nothing but uh, a mean son of a gun. Or I called you a fatso. Or I called you some, don't get me wrong, I don't call us nobody. But I call you some really god-awful name like fatso or, you know, or... Uh, as an example, tubby, okay? Those are bad things. You should never say this to people. Do those hurt after three weeks? Yes. Why? Because feelings last longer than a broken leg or a broken arm. They don't heal as fast, and you have to go through deliverance and inner healing for them to heal. You can't just wait three weeks and, oh, okay, they're gone. No, you can mask the situation. You can, you can take a fake aspirin. Uh, a spiritual aspirin to mask the situation, but they last a lot longer. Think about people who's been abused, <clears throat> okay, sexually or physically or whatnot. The emotional situation that goes through their mind lasts them forever. The feelings last them forever. Yes, whatever happened to them physically will heal up and their body will go back to normal, but the feeling aspect lasts a lifetime. That's like I said, if I called you a name like Fatso, that would last you even longer than the actual uh, broken parts of your body will. So we need to PSW, praise, seek, and worship God. We need to praise, seek, and worship Him when we're doing good, when we're not doing good. When we're stuck at rock bottom, when we're high up in the clouds, and God's, you know giving us the joy of the Lord, the, the, the peace that comes all understanding. We need to praise, seek, and worship in those aspects no matter what because that's when we can start defeating the enemy right then and there. Sometimes it's the, be the best time actually to defeat that enemy and praise, seek, and worship is before he does anything. Don't give him leeway to try to start you do it right then and there, and you say, get away from me now, and you start praise, seeking, worship him, and keeping him away. Don't just try to get him away while it's happening. Try to keep him away by doing it beforehand. So praise, seek, and worship is what PSW does stand for. And uh, we need to continuously do that every day because there's a lot of people out there right now who are down and depressed from what's going on. And they need some prayers. No sound, Aunt Sandra? Let me check my wires for a second. Sorry, I had to unplug my microphone for a minute because my Aunt Sandra said there's no sound. I'm not sure why there's no sound because everything should be hooked up just fine. And it is. And there's no sound. So I don't know what's going on, but we need to praise, seek, and worship God. If any of you during this Facebook Live experience experienced no sound as well, please go to uh, 
the Spreaker, Spreaker itself, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, and you'll be able to hear the full message there. Not sure why there was no sound, but there was no sound according to my aunt, so I don't know. So we got to work on getting some sound in a little while later on. So again, the we got to praise, seek, and worship God. That's all. Praise, seek, and worship God. So PSW stands for what? Praise, seek, and worship. Let's get this connected again. Hold on just for a brief here. Facebook Live. Hello. Hold on for just a second, guys. Okay, let's see what this does. So let's get into some more praise and worship for the show. And the next song on our praise and worship list is... Take Somebody With You by none other than Prophet Dr. Larry Orell. Enjoy. Take Somebody With You. Now when you're traveling the globe It's nice to have some company go It's better to go anywhere when it's someone to share So on your heavenward move Don't go by yourself, make it too Don't go to heaven alone Take somebody with you Don't go to heaven alone Take someone with you seem quite so long You'll be surprised how many will go If someone goes who they know So make it your business to do What everybody who's going should do Don't go to heaven alone Take somebody That was simply that it'll take somebody with you. And like it said in the song, you don't want to go to heaven alone. You do not want to be the only there with the only person there with Jesus. Don't get me wrong. You want Jesus all yourself, I know. But it's always nice to take somebody with you. It's always good to take somebody with you. Why? Because then when you take someone with you, you got someone else you can worship God with. So it's good to take some. So don't go to heaven alone. Take somebody with you. Our next song is uh, <clears throat> another good number. And this one is from Dr. Tom Ray. And it is simply entitled, This is the Year. Simply enjoy This Is The Year by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy This Is The Year.
That was, once again, This Is the Year by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Let's get into another song, <clears throat> which is simply entitled... Lord, it's you, by none other than Prophet Dr. Larry Well. Enjoy, Lord, it's you. Same old sunshine Same old sky Same old bluebirds Flying by But it seems like the sunshine's More beautiful to 